Subscribe our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, visit our website. This video we were sharing on customer deposit module. Usually, when you receive a refundable deposit from the customer, if you do not wish to credit this amount to your customer account, then this customer deposit is useful for you. This customer deposit allows you to choose, for example, credit to your deposit account under current liabilities and debit to the bank. Now, let's look on SQL. In SQL account, system will automatically create a prepayment from customer account under current liabilities account. Now, let's look on customer deposit. Click on new, select your customer, choose your deposit account, select your bank, enter the deposit amount, for example, 100, and click on save. If there is no check number, just click on no. You can also right click to check on the double entry. So as you can see, now in this customer deposit entry, system will be debit to the Maybank account and credit to the prepayment from customer. Once the security deposit received, usually it will have three scenarios. The first scenario will be the deposit will be refund after that. And the second scenario will be deposit might be forfeited. And the last scenario, the deposit will use to offset with any of your customer outstanding. Now, let's look on the first scenario, refund the deposit. In this customer deposit screen, you can click on the plus button and you can see the deposit refund. So for example, if your deposit refund is in the 7th, 7th of January, and then you are refunded by your Maybank, if there any check number, and then what is your refund amount? For example, the refund amount is 50. Then you may just click on 50 and press on OK. System will be raise a new payment voucher for this refund. Now, let's look on the second scenario. The deposit will be forfeited due to certain reason. You can also click on the plus button and go to deposit forfeit. Select your forfeited date, for example, 9th of January. Enter a GL account to credit. Let's say I have an account called deposit forfeited and the forfeited amount. Just press on OK. System will be debit to the prepayment account and credit back to the GL account that you have chosen. Let's look on the double entry. So on the 4th of January, you receive a deposit. So system will be debit your bank and credit to your current liability account prepayment from customer. And on the 9th of January, you forfeited the deposit. So system will be debit back to the current liability account prepayment from customer and credit to the deposit forfeited account. To show you the last scenario, the deposit can turn into payment and offset with the customer outstanding. I will have to create a new deposit due to the current deposit that I already refund and forfeited. So let's issue a new customer deposit. Let's say AB Enterprise. Let's say the amount is 100 and save. So in future, if I want to turn this deposit amount to become a payment to offset with the customer outstanding, I can just go back to the customer payment. Click on new and to choose the customer AB Enterprise, you will notice that in the customer payment, have a new option from deposit. So you can select from which deposit. Let's say from the OR 00059 and to offset with the customer outstanding. Just click on save. So in this case, we can also check the double entry. So system will be debit back to the prepayment from customer and credit to the AB enterprise. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides, it's so easy.